ATP 1000 fam, we are back for the juice, for that tennis juice boy. Before I get into the juice, yeah, look where I'm at, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not no green screen today, my brothers. Not no green screen today. Look at this, bruv. Jeez, look at that, bruv. A bath top and a mat. You see that me, bruv? Look at that me, bruv. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Ouch. Welcome to. Wait, close that, bro. I don't want no mosquitoes. Wait, look at that bathtub, bro. What is this, fam? Jeez! Hey, hey, enough of my private life. I just want to show you around before we get into Look at where I'm at. It's not every day. It's not every day you're. I'm in a place like this. Look, you got a toilet there. Yeah? Wait, look at that shower, fam. You see that shower, bro? You don't see that, fam. You got a door. I want to show you what the shower at my home is. I won't be showing it off like that, but look, this place is nice, bro. I think that's a hotel room. We've got a hotel living room as well. Look at that, bruv. TV. TV's a bit small, but it's all right. Look at the condiments as well. As well. Anyway, enough of that, enough of that, enough of that. Let's get to it, let's get to it. We're here for tennis, fam. We're here for tennis, but it's been a while. So obviously, oh, look at that view, bruv. Look at that view, bruv! Oh my days. We got the beach. Is that the beach? Yeah, that's the beach. And some mountains and stuff. But anyway, if anyone can guess where I am, drop me down in the comments. None of you will guess it right, I guarantee you, bruv. Even, even if I was here, I wasn't here last week, I wouldn't know where I am. But I'll give you a little clue. It's in Malaysia, bruv. Ha! <laughs> it's in Malaysia! Oh, shout out to Malaysia, boy. Malaysia's banging, fam. I could live here, bruv. What do you guys think of the Ronaldo top? It's a bit too bright. It's a bright yellow. You know when you're abroad here? You know when you're abroad and you're wearing bright, bright yellow? You get always... I don't know about you, but I get a bit paranoid of them. Like, not mosquitoes, but bees or like wasps. They think I'm some flower, bro. I'll get a bit... You know, not even a wasp. You know those flies or them dragon... Or those mad lights that you've never even seen before. You don't even know what they look like. You don't even know what, what, what would happen if they do, like, bite you. But, um... Let's get to it, guys. I've got my notes. Let's let's hope I, st I come back with a bang. You know what I'm saying? Let's hope I come back with a few thirties, with a few with a few right outcomes. I don't want to be coming back with some L's or something like. Oh really? Oh my God! Like, what were you thinking, bro? Let's start off the juice, bro. I, I miss the juice, man. I'm not gonna lie, I miss it. Don't get me wrong. I've been following all the tennis, bro. All the tennis. But anyway, let's start off. Hold on. What's this? What's this? No mosquitoes, bro. No mosquitoes, fam. I ain't getting bitten at night, bro. I'm not about that. I'm not I'm on holiday, bro. I'm gonna start off with the first match of the day. First match of the day, Kahashnikov versus Lehechka, bro. Kahashnikov v Jiri, fam. The Jiri guy, yeah? If any of you guys thinking Lehechka, just be a bit careful, man. Like, he's playing good. Don't get me wrong. Outdoor hard is his thing. He's playing good. But he's not playing Australian Open good. Do you know what I'm saying? He's playing very well, but he's not playing that well. Like, he's all right. I'm backing him, I'm backing him to get a set, yeah, but the thing is about Karen Kahashnikov, yeah, the thing is about this guy, when you back him, he loses, and when you don't back him, he ends up winning, he's one of them guys, one of them, those painful guys, brother, I'm just a bit wary of Karen, bro, but ever since Lehechka lost against Andy Murray, if you guys ever saw that match, he had match points, he was serving it, a tie break, bro, that loss was hurtful, fam, hurtful, and I'm just thinking, ever since that loss, he hasn't been playing as good as I would like him to. If he if that if he didn't play Andy Murray and he won that match, I'll probably be saying Lehechka all day, fam. I'll be bringing out double chest, fam. Double. Even Ronaldo be shouting out Lehechka right now. But I don't know, man. Kahashnikov, yes, you look at his last match. He lost against Fakina and in Indian Wells. But you've got to bear in mind, bro. Kahashnikov ain't no Indian Wells guy. Indian Wells is slow. Hardcore. It's not fast, bro. It's slow. And Fakina always had him on that one. Kahashnikov on the outdoor. And we're talking about outdoor hardcore. We're talking about Australian Open. We're talking US Open. Kahashnikov does bits. He does bits, bro. So I'm thinking Lehechka, if it wasn't for Australian Open run, and if it wasn't for that Andy Murray loss, I'll be back in Hedgecar all the way. So I'm just a bit weary. You know what? I'm going to put that match on park. I don't know, guys. I can't be... I know chess is coming out for this match. No 30s, bro. No sir. I'm just a bit weary of Kashnikov, man. He's a burner, bro. Every time, I, every time I, you don't back him, he burns you, bro. I'm just a bit weary of that match. I don't know, man. I'm going to have to move on in that match. Let's move on. The next match we have is Garin. Versus City Pass. Now let me put this out there. Um, this is the only 30 today. It's the only 30. I think Garen's getting a set, man. 
Garen's get. Let me. I'm. I'm gonna break down why I think Garen's getting a set. A lot of people think Garen can even win outright. Easy, my brother. Easy. Garen ain't that good, yeah? Before everyone jumps on, get her in, get her in, get her in. He's going to get the city pass. He's injured. He's not fully fit. Da -da 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 -da. Relax, bruv. Relax. In the last one, Indian Wells, slow, hard court, yeah? Suits Garen, in. He's a clear quarter. He beat Rude. Fair play. But in the next match, he just beat Rude in straight sets, my guy. And the next match, he lost in straight. Didn't even get a set. Not even a set of Fakina, bro. Fakina... At least get a set of Fakina if you just beat Rude. So it goes to show, even on a slow court, Garen, I don't fully trust, man. And he was a breakup against Fakina in the second set. And he still ended up getting broken. He lost the whole match. I don't know, man. I don't, I'm not, I don't really trust Garen like that. It's, it's half 30, man. It's semi 30 right now. I'm not backing it all the way with double D chest. It's a wee bit of chest, fam. Just a wee bit. A wee bit. I think Garen could get a set. Only because to sit you pass. He's not fully fit, bro. He's not fully fit. If any of you guys watched a training match, Alcaraz beat a City Pass, yeah? Alcaraz City Pass, they've done like a little, they were practicing on court in Miami Open. And to City Pass, he didn't want to play in Indian Wells, let's be honest. He even came out in the news, he did not want to play. He was forced to play because of ATP. But he's coming in Miami, he's kind of feeling it right now. He's not feeling so forced. Obviously, he would like to not play, but he's kind of feeling it the way he was practicing against Alcaraz. He was playing good, bro. He was playing good. He was he was smashing forehand winners. And I'm just thinking his backhand looks shaky. His backhand is 100%. It's not there, bro. He's not fully fit. His backhand is looking shaky. When Alcaraz are serving it on his backhand, it, will just, it wasn't happening, man. So if Garen's coach, he's just going to tell... He's just going to tell Garen, yo, Garen, just oh, go for that backhand and pray for the best. But anyway, forget the fitness. He's going to get a set of the City Pass. It's going to be tonight, man. It's going to be today, the next. It's going to be today, bro. It's his chance to get a set of him. Or well, maybe win. You never know. But if it's just, if he's going to get a set, it's going to be today. I've all tried. If he doesn't get a set of him today, garbage, fam. Trash. You get me? But I'm just thinking, Garen's getting a set. And I'm also, you also got to consider, yeah, in Miami, there's a lot of Chileans, man. Shout out to the Chileans. They are rowdy. Rowdy, bro. Rowdy. So I'm just thinking with the crowd support, the Chileans, there's no Greeks in Miami. Don't get it wrong. Small population, fam. Chileans are going to be, even if there were, the Chileans will out, out, out support them, out hear them, whatever it is, bro. But anyway, listen, fam. Summary, summary, yeah? The Chilean support, the City Pass backhand is about 50%, so he's not fully fit. The forehand's still firing, though. Don't get me wrong. Forehand's still, it's still there. It's still there. But I wouldn't be surprised if Garen wins, but he's getting a set, man. For me, that's a set of the day. Garen to get a set. Let's move on. I'm going to shout out Eubanks and Barre right now. Eubanks and Barre. Barre defeated Norrie in straight sets. He didn't just defeat Norrie. He put him in a split. Beamed him, bruv. Ashed him away. What he did to Norrie was embarrassing. Norrie, I'm not going to lie, Norrie, yeah? On a slow court, Norrie's good. But on a hard court... Norrie's shit, fam. I don't need... Norrie's a bit overrated, so... Barre winning against Norrie, I wouldn't rate it too much. I'm not gonna go, oh, Barre, Barre, 100%, 100%. Relax, fam. Barre, I like him to get a set. It's gonna be a beef, because Eubanks right now, Eubanks just robbed the bank, fam. Eubanks is playing with house money. Daylight robbery, bruv. What happened to Courage? Courage, bruv. Up a set and a break, and he lost against Eubanks, fam. Eubanks, a guy with a serve, I don't know. He's got a strong serve, Eubanks. He's, that, that's about it, man. He's, I don't know, I don't rate him too much. But Courage, I think, to be really honest with you, I think when Courage lost against Medvedev, not only the way, he, the way, the way he lost against Medvedev in Dubai, I think that just scarred him up, bruv. That just really does mental damage. That does a lot of mental damage to him. So I think I wouldn't rate Eubanks' win either, fam. So if you put Eubanks and Barre, yeah, both of them got nice wins, but I wouldn't rate it too much. Don't look too much into it, yeah? I'm thinking... I don't know, man. I'm thinking it's going to be a bit over 20 games or something. Like, everyone, they're going to be holding their serve. Well, that's about it for Eubanks and Barre. But anyway, I've been chatting along. I've been chatting a bit along. It's getting hot, man. I'm getting sweaty out here, bro. I'm going to end it... I'm going to end it on my condolences and my honest peace offerings to Fanasi Kokinakis and Kaspar Rude. The way they lost was brutal, brutal. I would not wish that on my worst enemy. The way they lost, you know what, if I was Kaspar Rude and if I was Fanasi, I'd, I'd call up for a link up, man. I'd call up, I'll just get wavy. I would order myself some fried chicken, some Harry Bowes, sour, some crisps, prawn cocktail, flavor crisps. 
what else? Some chocolate, some, maybe some kinder surprise, bring a bit of nostalgia, some youth, a bit of happy memories. You know what I'm saying? I'll just pig out, man. I'll watch a nice movie. I might put on a good movie, you know, like a good, nice, happy times. Maybe I'll put on wedding crashes or something, you know, them little buddy ones. Like, maybe I'll put on a nice little movie, some good comedy. And I'll sit back and forget about my life for 24 hours because the way they lost, man, that's hurtful. That is hurtful. I'll, it's just sport is a grueling, it's, it's grueling sometimes. You've got to take the L's. But that L, that's like a courage L. I don't know, man. There's a lot of people getting some, some brutal L's out there. And Taro Daniel, bruv, what happened to you, bruv? You put away Sverev. But I told you, that's what I'm talking about, yeah? Taro Daniel, he beat Sverev bagel then, but, but Sverev, he had diabetes, he was getting an incident shot during mid-match. So sometimes, don't look at the scoreline, you gotta watch the match and realise what went down before you get trigger happy and go, Taro Daniel, Taro Daniel, money land. You know what I'm saying? Relax, bruv, relax. I'm gonna keep my eye out for Gary, man. But Karen Lehechka, that's a 50-50, that's a man. That's a ketchup mayo. That's the do I go Popeyes or KFC? That's a Pizza Hut Domino's. That's a it's a preference one. That is a down to preference. But yeah, man, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens tomorrow. I think I'll go a bit deeper on the analysis in the quarterfinals in two days' time. Two days, three days, whatever it is, man. But it feels good to be back, man. It feels good to be back. Bro, it's hot and sweaty out here. I'm gonna sign off. Much love, guys. Oh, let me know in the comments if you guys bother to comment. <laughs> let me know who you guys think is gonna win. Or let me know some juice. Some juice. Give me juice. I'll give you some juice back. Well, let's see what happens, man. If the City Pass wins in straight sets, bro. Fuck Garen, man. Hey, let's see what happens, bro. Hey, Garen, if you don't get a set here yeah, against this version of City Pass, you are trash, fam. Put in a bin, bro. <laughs> see you later, man.